when you acquired um, Absolute, you did take on a, a good amount of debt uh, to make that deal happen. You've done some divestiture since then. Mm -hmm. uh, do you expect more divesting in uh, 2010? Well, we announced that we have a 1 billion euro divestiture program. So far, we've achieved 800 million, so 200 million to come. And is the objective of that to reduce your debt? Well, it's one of the objectives. It's also a good opportunity for us to streamline our portfolio. And for instance, in the case of Vin and Sprit, there were secondary brands, which we thought we didn't fit very well in our strategy. On the contrary, we kept premium local brands like the very famous uh, Old Boy Aquavit. So you've done a lot of work to get mm -hmm. Absolute mm -hmm. integrated into the company. Um, mm -hmm. What's left? Other areas that, that really still need to be streamlined? Well, frankly speaking, to have an international vodka, and, and obviously uh, Absolute being the highest brand in this category, was a must-have. For the rest, I don't think there is any gap that I would qualify uh, as a sort of strategic uh, loophole. On the contrary, well, they are nice to have categories, but at the end of the day, we're not compelled to me to make any further acquisition just because of the uh, gap in our portfolio. We first want to return to investment grade and probably even further, and uh, that's a very strict discipline which we have had in the past, by the way. Uh, we made you know, three major acquisitions, the two first one being Ally Domecq and uh, Seagrams, and we respected the time you know, that after an acquisition, we want some time to digest it.